11 bizarre discoveries in mines. Number 11, Klerksdorp Spheres. The Klerksdorp Spheres, also known as the Grooved Spheres, are a strange geological phenomena found in pyrophyllite mines in South Africa. The spheres are almost perfectly round and have distinct grooves in them, making them look as if they were crafted by prehistoric humans. The only problem is the rocks are dated to be 3 billion years old, way before an intelligent being could have made it. Some believe these rocks are evidence of extraterrestrial visitors or an ancient intelligent race that predates humans. Most geologists think they are volcanic sediment with naturally occurring grooves rather than evidence of aliens visiting us. What do you believe? Number 10, 300 million year old piece of aluminum machine found in Russia. A Russian man working at a mine found something strange in his coal. A shiny metal rod-like object was sticking out of it. Upon further inspection, it seemed really out of the ordinary, so he broke the coal apart to inspect it. What was inside seemed to be a piece of machinery. It looked like a toothy part of a gear shift, a common enough part to find in a machine. The weirdness comes in when they dated the object. It was 300 million years old. The metal is made of 98% aluminum and 2% magnesium, leading Russian officials to believe it's artificially made. How did an artificial metal get made in a time before dinosaurs were even walking around? There's two possible answers. Aliens or time travelers. Number nine, the wolf's egg iron. This strange piece of iron was uncovered from a large lump of coal in a place called Wolfseg, Austria. The ore has a truly strange appearance. It's covered in tiny craters that give it an otherworldly appearance. Around the whole thing is a deep indent that looks like it was made deliberately by a machine. The Wolfseg iron has been in the center of mystery for more than a hundred years since its discovery. Although it looks man-made, it's more than six million years old, way before humans were making things. It was first theorized to be a meteorite that became entombed in coal after millions of years, but when a scientist in the 1960s tested it with an electron beam, it didn't show any characteristics of a meteor. The origin of the wolf's egg iron remains a mystery to this day. Number eight, Bell and Coal. In 1944, when a young boy named Newton Anderson was fueling his furnace, he dropped a lump of coal onto the ground and it broke in half. Inside was a mysterious object, a bell. However, the vein that his coal came from was about 300 million years old. So how did this man-made bell with an iron clapper find its way into a lump of coal? The bell itself is made of an unusual mix of metals that most modern alloy production doesn't use and the statuette on top has similarities to multiple ancient deities, including a Babylonian wind demon called Pazuzu. All of this has led many to believe that this is an artifact from the biblical era, before the great flood that Noah had to survive. Number seven, toads found in rock. One strange phenomena that still doesn't have an explanation are toads that find themselves entombed deep in stone and continue to live. For years, quarriers and miners have discovered to their surprise, live toads inside of the rocks they crack open. In some cases, the toads are found five, 10, and even 20 feet deep inside of rock. In all cases, they have no visible way in or out. And yet in all cases, they're all still alive. This bizarre phenomena is often called toad in the hole. No one knows how these toads find themselves in the rock, or how they survive without any water, food, or air. Number six, ghost miners in Maponang. The world's deepest gold mine called the Maponang Mine, located in South Africa, runs so far into the ground with so many winding tunnels that it's almost like a dark underground city. The expansive, dark, and hot mine is almost impossible to completely keep watch over. So every once in a while, an illegal squatter will be discovered. Maponing squatters are called ghost miners and will find empty caverns to make their home in, illegally mine gold to sell above ground, and will even meet prostitutes in the mines. Number five, the bold travelers of Maponing, Disulfuridus audaxviator. In the world's deepest gold mine, a new species of bacterium was discovered 
Audax Viator translates to bold traveler, which refers to the fact that the bacteria was found two miles below the surface of the Earth and is the only organism in its ecosystem. The strange bacteria has evolved to live without sunshine or oxygen. Instead, it lives off of hydrogen and sulfide as food, which come from the breakdown of radioactive elements. Basically, it's nuclear waste-eating bacteria. It's the only one of its kind, and it's amazed scientists with its complete solitude underground. Number four, giant roach fossil found in Ohio coal mine. Geologists were combing through an old coal mine in an area known for its plant fossils when they discovered an extremely rare fossil. It was a giant roach fossil, about four inches long and twice as big as most modern American roaches. The fossil is rare because it's completely intact, while most insect fossils are only partial imprints. Fossils in the cave also preserved some of the smallest cockroach fossils ever found and their color patterns. Inside the coal mine, even more rare insect fossils were found, including a rare ancient arachnid and a 60 inch long and 12 inch wide centipede. The chemistry of this coal mine in Ohio somehow preserved these insects with extreme detail that is not seen anywhere else. Number three, dead body found in ghost town mine. Hobby adventurers had the scare of their life when they were exploring an abandoned ghost town called Rue in Victoria, Australia. The two were in the ghost town's abandoned mine when they found a dead body covered in plastic and shoved into a deeper hole inside. The victim was a 50-year-old man in a Neil Young shirt, and the perpetrators were later found to be a 26-year-old man and 30-year-old woman. The details on this case are scarce, but it has all the makings of a really good CSI episode. Number two, four square miles of Carboniferous forest discovered. The fossils of almost an entire forest from the Carboniferous period was uncovered in the ceiling of two adjacent coal mines in Illinois. This discovery is the largest single period fossil discovery in recorded history. Archaeologists delved into the 250 feet deep mine to explore and record the fossils. There were upwards of 200 specimens of detailed shrubs, trees, flowers, and even insects. And now for number one. But first, be sure to subscribe for new videos every day. Number one, tiny strange primate fossil. In the Krabi coal mine of Thailand, archaeologists uncovered a new species of a teacup-sized primate. They found mandibles that belong to the pea-sized primates called Krabia minuta. Krabia minuta were native to Asia and are the ancestors to all monkeys, apes, and humans. They were impressively able to make it to Africa, despite being separated from a body of water at the time that was bigger than the Mediterranean Sea. This bizarre find is very important for archaeologists because it indicates a period of extreme evolution of primates in the area and will continue to yield more discoveries in years to come. Thanks for watching. Here's what's next. Watch 14 most bizarre Japanese game shows on the biggest offer. Make sure to tell them Taltanic sent you.